Okay, so here we are going through your question, and um, generally you have the right idea. You, I mean, I mean, I can see you've already solved the problem because you sent me this matrix, saying this was your answer matrix. And so I think your issue is coming from how do you read it, how do you type it into WebAssign. Um, so here we go. First things first. Let's just make sure we're all agreeing. First column's X, next column's Y, third column's Z, last column's equal sign. So this first row is saying to me X minus Z equals zero. The next row after that is Y minus Z equals zero. Now, something that uh, you may be missing here is the directions very specifically say they want the answer in terms, excuse me, they want the answer in terms of x, meaning everything should be written, written as functions of x. Um, so therefore, this is a problem, um, because how you solved it is so everything's in terms of z. So I've got x equals z and y equals z. So therefore, so therefore, um, my answers would be z comma z comma z, which is true, um, and we can and that, I mean, it's true, but it's just not how they want it. They want everything in terms of X. So what we need to do is be smarter than the problem. <laughs> um, so, or, or kind of do a little bit of substitution, because um, what we know, we know Y is equal to Z, and we also know X is equal to Z. So therefore, if X is equal to Z, then Z is X, therefore Z is X, therefore Z is X. So that is the answer WebAssign is looking for. Um, just everything in terms of x. Or the other way going about it um, is saying, well, let's be smarter than the problem. Let's think about how, why did it give us everything in terms of z? Uh, well, that's because when we do reduce rational on form, we take the first number, get zeros below it, then move down the diagonal, get the next number, get zeros above and below it, then move down to the, act, down to the diagonal. But the problem is here, there was no number to here, it was a zero. So it stopped and notice, we had z's in the rest of our equations. So if we want things in terms of x, what can we do to our problem before we ever start to guarantee that this column is going to have x's in it? Well, it's, it's actually quite simple. Um, just instead of writing, when you set up your original matrix, instead of having x as your first column, y as your second column, and having z as your third column, switch them around. Make x and y <coughs> Excuse me. If you want everything in terms of x, just make x your last column. So therefore, when I'm creating my matrix, it's going to look like y, z, x, equal sign. Equal sign always goes on the right, because uh, it's augmented. So and when I say last column, I mean the third. So when I set it up this way, and I solve the problem, um, you're going to get, you know, you'd fill in your numbers negative one third. Sorry, excuse me. Try again. You would fill in your numbers. Uh, negative 1, if I could ever get this right, there we go, negative 1, negative 2 thirds, negative 1 third, 0. Then the next row would be negative 1 third, 1, negative 2 thirds, 0, so on and so forth. Now solve the problem. When you get your answer, and it's going to look something very similar to this, you're now going to get y equal y minus x equals 0 and z minus x equals 0 so therefore everything will be in terms of x <coughs> excuse me i hope that helped i hope that made sense <coughs>